Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see. So it's been a long time since I posted my last video. The last one I posted was the... Should you buy a KTM Duke? And since then obviously you can probably notice I haven't got the Duke anymore. Uh, I did my A2 license which means I've... I can get a big bike but I'm restricted. So this is one of the biggest, well, the highest horsepower bikes I can get on my current license, uh, 87 horsepower. So yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot better than always. It's obviously a lot better than a 125. Hello. This video today is just to basically say hello. I'm back. Uh, I've, I've got the attachment now for the GoPro, so that means that I can plug my own external mic into it so I can have a mic inside my helmet, so I can ride and talk. So that means that I'll be able to make plenty more videos for you guys. Uh, if you want to drop a comment and tell me what you'd like to see, because obviously the I'm putting these video, videos out for you guys and I may as well just get your input on what you want to see instead of just putting a lot of random stuff out there and hoping something catches and trying to figure it out. It's only going to be a short video today, this one. I, I'm just on my way to work. I uh, just wanted to test out the camera, the microphone, say hello to you guys get some of out there just to start getting the ball rolling a bit really a little bit about my new bike it isn't new really <laughs> it's 2010 GSX 650F uh, looks a bit tatty but the engine's solid on it absolute dream to ride it's perfect for me I like to most of my time on my bike is spent commuting going to and from work so I need something a bit comfy so the GSX F is basically a sports tourer. Uh, it's just like a bandit with fairings really. But it has a bit more torque than a bandit too. I did actually have a bandit 600 just before this one. Uh, which was, was an okay bike. I mean the, the one that I had in particular was really like not in good condition. It, it was rat ratted. So it had like everything stripped off of it, it was just, it'd been destroyed really. It rode, but it wasn't the, the nicest of rides. The seat that I had was literally a bit of plywood with some foam on it. It just wasn't a very pleasant bike. But I got rid of that and got this, because I needed something a bit better. But yeah, as I say, if you want to just let me know what you guys want to see, and then I can make that happen to the best of my ability, obviously. Uh, I do work a lot at the moment. I'm working nights, so I work six, 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 like six days a week. So I've, I've only got a couple hours before work every day, free, and one day a week off. But I'd like to get something sorted out. Well, like a little bit of a plan where I can start getting a bit more consistent with uploading and have a certain day that I upload certain videos, certain days, that kind of thing. I hope you're all doing okay in lockdown. Uh, I think, I don't know if this is second, third, I don't even know anymore this, if we're in lockdown or what's going on. I mean, my work's still open, so I don't, obviously I'm sleeping all the time in the day. I'm a bit like cut off from the real world really at the moment. I'm just kind of working, sleeping, working, sleeping. And so I don't really see much of what's actually happening. Uh, but again, I, I hope you're all doing okay. I hope you're all coping. Hope you're all still out on your bikes. I mean, the weather in England is getting beautiful now. It's getting perfect for riding weather. It's just really frustrating because I'm working so much. And if I want to get up early and... If I want to get up early to go out for a ride then it really messes up my sleeping pattern and it's kind of difficult but I do enjoy the rides that I have to and from work I guess I mean I do go out for a little bit of a ride sometimes just before work 
have an hour or two to kill. Look at this traffic. Look at this bloody traffic. Jeez, oh. There's some roadworks down here or something. Pulled in a little bit, but uh, okay. out of the way. Come on now. Off your phone. Off your phone. Lots of donuts around here, obviously. Be very careful of when of what's going on around you around here. There's a lot of idiots. It's not on the phone, it's not paying attention. Well, that's what the camera's for, I guess, partially. I just want to be an idiot. I'll always catch it on camera. I'm thinking I might do a review on this bike because I've owned it for like nearly a year now. So, I may as well do a quick review on this at some point. Want to get some time, probably on Sunday. We'll see. I mean, like I said, this this bike isn't a prime example of a G6F. It's not perfect condition or anything like that. It's far from it. It looks a bit tatty, but it rides beautifully. Like it's such a pleasant, pleasant bike to ride. Perfect for your first big bike, in my opinion. another night shift done. Uh, 12 hours in the bag. Money, 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 that's all it's ever about, isn't it? Six o'clock in the morning. Most people are just going, sitting off to work now, but I'm going home. But first I'm going to get myself some tea. I always find it really weird, the fact that I have my tea at six in the morning. But in reality, this is my tea time. Like I'm, I've just finished work. Come on! There we go, dinner's in the bag. Let's get home, I'm starving. So let's say a massive thank you to everyone for joining me today. I'm really sorry it's taken so long for the the um, video. You could all just do me a favour, hit that subscribe, hit the bell, like, comment, share, do what you do. And here's to many more videos. Thanks guys.